Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more Failure Friday here in NHL 19. Remember that submissions are closed probably until the uh, the beginning of NHL 20. So I will not be accepting any Failure Friday clips until NHL 20. If you guys still submit them, that's fine, but... They will most likely not be gotten to. So I still have so many clips to get through. And I want to do my best to make sure that I get through to all of them. I probably will. And it, worst case scenario, the last episode is just a very long one. Which I'm sure you guys would not mind. But just wanted to let you guys know. And also, if you guys have any clips for MLB Failure Friday, make sure to submit them to MLB Failure Friday at gmail.com. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our first submission and also make sure to hit that like button and go for 200 likes this episode i know we can do it so go ahead hit that like button show that love and support and subscribe and join the dorsal family and help us get closer to 100k before the end of the summer so take a look at this now this is something that would really infuriate me if i was the team on offense here take a look at this so this guy's got the puck, right? And he is going to uh, end up shooting it. Goalie gets some of it, but not all of it. And it does look like it crosses the goal line. Luckily, we got some more angles here. Take a look at this. So this is angle number two. And take a look. You can tell that it definitely crosses the line before... <laughs> The defender comes over, and then it just glitches. I mean, look at this one. This one's even more obvious. Definitely fully crosses the line. What is that? Come on. That is something that absolutely needs to be fixed. So this guy got uh, pretty lucky as the goalkeeper here. His best friend helped him out twice. Take a look at this. A goalie's best friend is the iron. Gotta love it. Now this goal is awesome. Take a look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen a goal that took absolutely, like, no effort. Look at this. So this guy has it. He's gonna shoot it. And the goalie passes it over to a member on the opposing team who just uh, kind of accidentally put it in the net. I mean, there was no skill involved there. I mean, it was just a stick was in the right place at the right time. I mean, it, literally no effort at all. I mean, the one to blame for that is the the goalie. He's the one to thank for it. The other guy just happened to have his stick in the right position, you know? So this guy gets absolutely robbed out of thin air. I'm pretty sure I've had this happen to me when I've played goalie and be a pro. I've just all of a sudden made these saves that I shouldn't have. Look at this. Yeah, that's supposed to be going into the net. The puck just teleports into his glove. Just like, well, I shouldn't say teleport. Kind of just like move direction all of a sudden. It was like someone just like, it, it was like the puck was on a string. You know what I mean? And it was attached to his glove. That's what it seemed like. That's probably better wording there. Regardless, definitely some nonsense. So this one was uh, quite interesting. Take a look at uh, what we got going on here. So this guy is ready to drop the mitts, all right? He's ready to go. He's got some people in his way, but that's all right. He is going to get there eventually. He's struggling, but he can do it. I got faith in him. He, now he wants to fight his teammate. Just kidding. He got a little confused, but he's good to go. So they fight, right? Eventually, we have ourselves a winner declared, and he wins despite all his struggles. And then watch this. Picks up his stick, and that's it. I, I like that's that's my favorite part right there just all of a sudden has his stick and then doesn't just just like that not sure how he managed to do it but he did it I got it I got to hand it to him that's that not only did he did he want to fight but he's got some kind of sorcery going on all right so this next picture is literally the definition of trying your best but not succeeding or I guess I should say the term but take a look at this 46, 31, and 5, good for 7th in the league. Yet, they're the only team in that picture to not make the playoffs. 
I mean, come on. They, I mean, they definitely had a, uh, a strong division, that's for sure. I think embellishment may have secretly been put into this game, especially after seeing this clip. Take a look at this. This dude is going to get hit, and he doesn't go down right away, and then he, like, dives. Look at that. I think that's embellishment. That is a dive right there. I'll give it a, a good, like, three because he went down way too late, but it was still a good going down. You know what I mean? But, yeah, definitely a dive for sure, but he should be lucky I gave him the three. Take a look at this fail of a poke check. Watch this. So, he's going to go ahead, passes it, and then he pokes it, and instead it just kind of, like... I don't even know, like jumps on top of his stick and it just goes right on over him and into the net and he can't sweep it away either. That's a real shame. I need to learn how to do this. I mean, it's not really a fail for the one team, but for the other it definitely is. Look at this. So this dude absolutely fails with the stick lift and then he shoots it and bang shots it off of the goaltender. How about that? That takes some serious skill. I definitely would love to learn how to do that. I don't know how he managed to do this, but definitely not something you want to do. And I'm glad that <laughs> computers are this good at hitting an empty net for when it's not the time to shoot on an empty net. Look at that. How do you manage to do that? Jeez. Not a good not good timing there. So this is definitely something that we have never seen before here on Failure Friday. Take a look at this. Look behind the net. The goal light is on. But as you can see, the puck is clearly nowhere near the back of the net. So I'm not quite sure how this is happening, but it's still on back there. So definitely a very odd glitch. I'm not sure what that's all about, but a funny one and definitely something we have never seen here on Failure Friday. So this might have been a little bit too much for me, but take a look at this. So he's going to shoot it or pass it, excuse me. And now it's it goes against the post, then somehow it goes back up into the air. And the goalie just has so much trouble trying to get it, and then he finally is able to. But look at this. Like, how does, how does that happen? Like, how does it go up in the air like that? Look at that. That was insane. Jeez. Close one. Could a goalkeeper get any more lucky than this? Take a look at these close calls. So this one... All of a sudden, just bounces back at him, and he keeps it out, right? And then again, this one, it goes back, bounces at him, and then he's able to somehow freeze it. I mean, two close calls, but both of them, like, just kind of, like, I don't even know what word to use. Just kind of, I don't even know, like, flew at him, sprung at him. That's the best thing I can come up with right now, guys. I'm sorry. Well, this guy was not very happy about this goal, and I can't blame him. Take a look. I want to know how this is a goal, okay? Look. Watch. Watch the stick. That That's in. That's stuck right there. Slow it down way more. Okay. There's no way you can put a stick through the net. Through the net. <laughs> through the net. There's no way. No goal. No. Can you really blame him, though? I mean, how is that a goal? It shouldn't be. That's for sure. That is definitely a no goal in my book. That shouldn't even be possible. I mean, I guess it does take some skill, don't get me wrong, but yeah, that that uh, definitely should not have been a goal. Guys, that is going to do it for this week's edition of Failure Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't get a Failure Friday out uh, last week. I didn't because of the beta. I think you guys wanted to see that more. So I definitely wanted to get uh, the beta out rather than this. So that's why. And um, I also do apologize for having to close off the submissions because there's just been so many that I still have to go through. And I'm hoping that I can get through all of them until when I close them before NHL 20 comes out. So I'm going to do my absolute best. And next week's might be a little longer. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that I can start working on it a little earlier because uh, next week I'm going to be doing that teaching gig again, but it's going to be longer hours. So yeah, next week might be a little hectic when it comes to YouTube videos, but I'm going to do my absolute best to keep the double uploads coming. So 
Fingers crossed that I'm able to do so. But uh, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.